All right, so back to it. Uh, many of our industry partners, uh, they create their own trading strategies using our tools, uh, which in turn allows you to trade them, uh, enhance them, tweak them, make them your own uh, when it's all said and done. So what we do is we select uh, top Ninja Trader partners to bring you a lot of variety and exposure to different trading methods and personalities. Uh, each are successful in their own right, and each offers a unique trading style. Just a bit of a brief introduction for today's partner. Uh, Ference is the chief system architect of Remick Trading Systems and he has recently been invited to lecture in the Masters in Finance program at Central European University this summer. He has over a decade of experience in banking and has been mentored in trading by several professionals, uh, but specific to this webinar, Ferenc is an early adopter of our trading tools, and he's been designing and building systems for customers since 2011. So he certainly knows what he's talking about. Uh, so without any further ado, I'll pass the mic and the screen uh, over to you, Ferenc. Thank you very much, Ty. Uh, let me see if I can find the right screen to share. I think that's the one. Um, I hope you're seeing like a lake with putting the math on your side. Yep, yep, we're good to go. All right, thank you very much, Ty. And thank you also for the uh, kind invitation for today's webinar. It's always a pleasure to be here um, to have these joint webinars with Shark Indicators. And also welcome everyone. I hope uh, the next hour you'll find uh, useful and uh, well spent. So without further ado, um, we'd like to talk a little bit about uh, how to trade profitably with the Remix system and also touch upon a topic that's uh, probably not always given the right weight when we plan our trading strategies, which is uh, sheer numbers and math. So without further ado, let me jump right into it. Okay, and say a few words about our team. I'm privileged to work with these uh, two gentlemen on my left and on my right. Gabor has been head trader of Remex Systems for years since we started the company. Uh, he's a longtime Canadian and is a, um, a well accomplished trader with a 30 year experience, also black belt in Hapkido and uh, Zen master, a very accomplished gentleman. It's a privilege to work with him. And on my right is Zoltan, my brother from Miami, Chicago, who's uh, been uh, on board for a while as special consultant. Uh, it's also a privilege to work with him. He's an ES trader for the past 10 years, uh, successful in his trading uh, six figures. And it's a real pleasure to have his insight and advice as we go along with our uh, building the company and strategies for customers. Uh, we are training the U.S. futures mainly out of uh, three locations, which provide some good opportunities uh, as far as time zones and strategies are concerned. And uh, why don't we look at the agenda quickly? So I'd like to touch upon the following topics here briefly. Uh, first, say a few words about our strategy design service. And I'm not going to read all these. Probably you can read these yourselves. The four elements, a little bit about skills development and the math and of course we wouldn't do without an exclusive offer for our attendees as we head into the summer months. So first of all about our strategy design service. Uh, we've been um, serving customers for six years now worldwide from New Zealand to UK and Brazil and uh, a lot of uh, satisfied customers have come to us uh, with their own ideas and their own strategies and uh, Basically, we've been building these strategies based on, uh, you know, sound IT project principles and uh, sound knowledge of Bloodhound over the years. And if I click on this link, let me just brag a little bit with our testimonial page. These, these are real people with real comments uh, come to us by email. And uh, we're very proud uh, to have served them and many others over the years. So if you do have your own ideas and your own strategy that you'd like to uh, have designed professionally, then please uh, come to us and we'll be happy to be at um, your service. Also, if I mention, uh, thank you, uh, a little bit of disclaimer, I'm not a graduate lecturer yet. I will be uh, from July, but let me just highlight uh, the maturity of these two products, Bloodhound and Blackbird, because in this uh, MSc in my finance program where I'll be teaching, the focus will be on these two products by Shark Indicators uh, in the trading technology course. So I think for all the makers of, of these two fantastic products, 
uh, uh, it is a real pleasure to, I think, these two products have come to a mature state and, and, and gaining more, more recognition internationally and on several continents, even in academic circles. So it's a real privilege to work with Blackbird and Bloodhound and all the guys at Shark Indicators. All right, so let me jump into our a few words about our REMEC methodology. This is the uh, basically the intraday, um, some call it scalping strategy, but it's much more than just taking a few more ticks and it's actually exiting at the swing point usually. So um, since you know trading uh, swing trading is not real time frame, swing trading can also refer to intraday trading. We might as well call it uh, a swing trading system. In any case, as you become familiar with it, you'll know exactly what I mean. A few words about our four principles that we built into this system and that we built this system upon. And uh, uh, no surprise, uh, there is these four principles are quite uh, useful for us because they create the kind of synergy that we've been looking for and that we've been using for quite a while now. Again, uh, let me just uh, go into these four areas one by one. So for the first one is how markets move. There are basically two major uh, forces, as you know, everybody here knows. Momentum, where price moves away from a mean uh, value or area, and regression to that mean just to come back and start the whole process again. Uh, these two forces of the market give us good opportunities to trade with the trend, with the momentum, and counter trade when price moves back towards the mean. And uh, this is what the REMEC system does. Uh, we have basically three or maybe even four strategies, setups that we trade. And uh, one is definitely uh, trend trading, but I can think of one or two which are counter trend. We're gonna go into that in just one second. Uh, if you go to our website, uh, you can see that uh, our blog is pretty active and I often upload various analysis and information about our system. So if you do use the REMEC system, it's always a good idea to check the blog. And uh, if you're a new user or if you're considering checking out the system, then uh, by all means, please go to our blog. There's lots of, if you click on REMEC actually, uh, you can see all the posts which, which are about the REMEC system itself. By the way, don't be frightened by this lots of arrows here. There's basically two areas here that are important to us as we trade with REMEC. One is the heads up area. That's where we recognize that there may be a trend chart uh, starting. And the other important is this yellow line where we actually switch the system to long mode. It's like we cast our fishing net to catch the next trade to the long side and that will be our entry into a trend trade. Uh, I'll tell you more about that in just one second. All right, so let's move on. Noise filtering is our second component uh, uh, in principle of our system. As you can see, our chart uses a time-proven type of Renko bar also made by Shark Indicators called SI Pro Renko. Uh, although we also recognize that uh, Many people may be using other Renko bars. So, uh, mo you know, most uh, most famously the SIBT Renko, which is a newer product. So our Remex system actually supports three types of Renko bars. So don't worry if you don't have SI Pro Renko. If you have SIBT Renko, you're good to go. And if you don't have that, we have a third option, Uni Renko, which is a product uh, freely available courtesy of DS Trader and that also comes with a product, uh, with a package when you download it. So either of the three Renko bars are supported. And as you can see, trading with Renko's has certain advantages because namely one of them is, or the most major of them is that it hides the noise. And the noise is something that we're not necessarily interested in. We're only interested in the swing points and that's exactly what our chart highlights. So so much about noise filtering. And let's move on to our third component of our system is a higher time frame context. 
Now this is something we wouldn't we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't really trade without. And uh, as you can see, we have two charts. We have a third one, the precision chart, but that's not shown right now. Uh, basically, using a top-down uh, approach, we look at the chart, the highest time frame. In this case, the 12.3, to gauge uh, the context of the market. And as you can see, we can observe a pretty strong uptrend uh, here. So our job will be to trade the pullbacks on the smaller time frame in the direction of the higher time frame uh, trend. Uh, if the higher time frame is against our trade idea on the middle chart, then we just uh, skip the trade. We always like to trade, you know, when we're supported by the higher time frame context. And the third is I think is, is, is pretty unique. I haven't seen anything like it, if you ask me. Uh, uh, we call our trading trading in the flow because it's, it's actually it's a pretty low pressure uh, job that we're doing. I'm not saying no pressure, I'm just saying low pressure. And the, the, the reason I can say this is that we have found actually uh, a method to separate our decision point from the actual entry. And that's what exactly the Remex system does for us. So using this example, um, this actually looks like an anti-trade. Uh, more about that a little bit later. Uh, as price keeps coming up towards this potential double top uh, situation, we already thinking ahead and we make a hypothesis that this actually will turn below. And if it turns below, it will become an anti and we want to go short with that trade. We make that decision as price still is moving up. We, what we're going to do, we're going to switch the system to short mode and just wait. Sit back and wait. Two things can happen. Either a hypothesis is true, in which case we'll be in a good trade, or price keeps moving, breaks out, and since we're not taking a breakout trade, we just switch the system off and nothing happened. Oh. I think I jumped ahead, I'm sorry. Okay, so here we were. So going into the details a little bit, this is what we're gonna do uh, in, uh, I'm gonna show you a, a concrete example later on. Oh, I'm sorry, I am uh, must have pressed the mouse, I'm sorry. We just have to scroll back a little bit. Okay, this is where we were. All right, I have to be careful with this mouse. Okay, so skill development, that's our next major area. Uh, the Remex system is a semi-automated uh, system, which also means semi-discretionary system. There is a human decision involved. After that decision has been made, uh, most of the execution is automated, either with Blackbird or Bloodhound, uh, uh, the SI Raven component of Bloodhound, and we'll talk about that later. But you know, as a result, you need to, each trader, we uh, individually need to develop certain skills to be able to trade with the system successfully. But I think that goes for any system, uh, even the so-called, you know, totally automated systems as well, because um, I don't think there's any system is totally automated. Even automated systems have to be switched on and off. Uh, so there's always some human decision making involved. In this particular system, the Remex system, as you can see in this chart, there are three, or if we include the breakout, then four setups that we specialize in. Let me focus on the three, the pullback, the anti, and the failure test. These are the setups that basically we just have to know, you know, inside out, if you wake me up at 3 a.m., whatever, I can tell you everything about these three setups. It's, it's, it's in my blood, it's in my cells. I've done this so many times, and this is what skill, this is when it comes down to skills. Uh, this can only be done by practice, I think, and, uh, but it's not rocket science, and I'll tell you a specific pathway uh, in just one second as we move along in the presentation. So definitely, uh, Recognizing opportunities uh, in real time is, is not really easy first uh, as uh, these setups, they evolve and, uh, you know, are being set up in real time. We need to be able to 
watch the market and make hypotheses and switch the system in long or short mode depending on the situation. Uh, as soon as you kind of internalize these three setups, the failure test, anti and pullback, uh, you will be, I think you've covered most of the mileage that's needed and uh, I'll show you how to do this I think on the next slide. Yes, so to, again, oh where am I going? Sorry, here we go. All right, anti. This is a this is one of the trade types, the setups that we trade on a regular basis. Basically, if we're in a long trend, the first lower high is our entry point into a short trade. That's the definition of an anti. Uh, I think to use Linda Rashke's terminology. The anti, let me show you, if I click on this link, I'll be able to show you a, a, a live example as Here we go. Okay, so this is, I think, similar to this exactly the same trade as we move up. We recognize an anti and we recognize it top down approach on the largest chart. This looks like a divergence, actually, a big one in the works. And what we're saying if price turns in the white rectangle, which means if the next high is lower than the previous high, then I will consider this an anti and I want to be short. Now that if I'm, if I'm, it's like casting a fishing net and I'm waiting for the fish. If the fish comes, it will end up in my net. If there's no fish, I just pull the net in uh, just to, uh, just to, uh, you know, use an allegory, I think it's called. All right, so let's see the whole thing in action because I think that's really the testing of, uh, this whole methodology. Let me just turn down the volume because I'd like to maybe add a few words as we go along. So this is, we're looking at it's March 3, uh, was recently, it's one of our trades uh, available from our uh, blog actually. We always upload our trades for educational purposes, uh, many of them anyway. So as you see, this is the point. Price is moving up, but I'm not interested in long trade. What I'm interested in is Finding out if price turns below the previous high. If it does, that's the definition of an anti-trade for me. And then if that's the case, I want to trade it. The other possibility, of course, is the price will not stop. It just keeps going. In that case, I just switch the system off. Now, if you notice, we're trading this with Blackbird and I have long disabled. Only short is enabled, which means the system can only take short trades and check out what happens. I hope pretty soon. As soon as we get a, this red candle is closed, the system is supposed to put a limit order on the market, get filled, and go short. Let's see, maybe I can, here we go. Okay, I didn't have to wait too long. So close of the candle. I have made, I made the decision, you know, minutes before as we were still going up. So actually I didn't have to press the button. I didn't have, to, it's not a high pressure situation when it comes to decision making because I made my decision previously. This, from this point on, the system executes the trade automatically, although I still have the opportunity or the option to manually uh, modify, you know, both the targets and the stop. Let me just fast forward a little bit. So basically the main idea is, is uh, just to recap, just, just what I tried to describe here. Price moves up. I have identified a setup, a potential setup on our trading chart. Higher time frame is with me. And of course I don't know, and I do not have to know what is you know, the future. I don't have to know the future. What I, what I do know is that my hypothesis is that this price will turn and if it turns I want to be short. If it doesn't turn I just switch the system off. No money lost, no opportunity lost and I'm waiting for the next trade setup. In this case my hypothesis proved to be true and therefore I have been dragged into a good trade, actually a pretty good trade as it turns out, uh, to the short side and my anti 
has materialized and oh, there's the manual positioning of the stop and I just follow the trade either manually or automatically to its completion which is usually previous low so if I exit the trade here I think that's a sensible uh, completion of this trade as you can guess when we have an anti the next trade will often be and this trade is done is often will be a trend trade to the downside so the anti is often followed by the trend trade all right so moving on here we go the next is basically the same technique uh, using another setup called the failure test which looks like a double top or double bottom the market retests a certain level and then quickly moves away from it and when that's coupled with a divergence that's even better here is also a divergence to the downside and we call that the failure test and I think if I click on this the same methodology the same uh, way we build the hypothesis we build the hypothesis and we switch as you can see this is done with actually SI Raven uh, but the same Remex signals with SI Raven I have switched to long mode let me just stop here uh, for a second so price is coming down but what I'm looking at is the higher time frames the trading chart and the higher time frame chart and what the trading chart is telling me that this level was tested once now I don't know what's going to happen here if it breaks down that's fine with me because I'm thinking of a long trade I'm not trading the breakout trade but if it turns here I would think I would say that that's going to be a powerful move to the upside look at the divergence so I think uh, making a hypothesis for a long trade is a reasonable idea I do not have to know the future if it breaks below that's fine with me I just switch the system off if at this point at this moment um, or, although I'm making a decision to go long which means I switch the system to long and from that moment on I just switch I just sit back and wait let's see what happens here so price is coming down again I have an area of interest that's what we call this area of interest if price leave that area of interest then I switch the system off now I'm switching it on so I'm readying the system for a long trade and I'm saying that I'm expecting price to move to a turn in that white rectangle if it doesn't I switch the system off if it does I want to be long and from this point on I don't have to do anything so the decision has been made uh, hopefully logically and following our methodology and let's see if the, how the market uh, what the market produces here at this point let me just fast forward okay so we got filled we got filled and we're long from this point on our ATM2 in this case um, simply be fiddling with the stops but the ATM2 will take care of the trade based on predefined rules and I'm just drawing on the trading chart uh, drawing a target area which is yesterday's close based on the larger chart and that will take us to our uh, next consideration because with the Remex system we always try to put the target the runner um, based on a higher time frame target previous high in the higher time frame so this was an example for a uh, failure test a double bottom trade as we come down I switch the system to long mode while I'm still seeing red candles I specify a rectangle well, it was it reached below a little bit but I got filled so for better or worse I'm in a long trade now let's see if I can survive it looks like I could survive that little pullback and I'm able to take that trade to a pretty good finish using our ATM2 strategy and this was an example using the Remex system with an SI Raven which is a built-in component of Bloodhound so let me close this and move on
Okay, a third uh, trade type is the pullback trade. Let me see, uh, maybe I'll just highlight a couple of things here quickly. As you can see on the chart, if this was an anti, as previously recognized in another situation, the anti is often followed by more pullback trades to the downside. And that's what we want to trade with the Remex system with the same methodology, switch the system into the appropriate mode and sit back and see if our hypothesis became true or not. If it didn't, then we just press the button and disable the system. I think in this trade, right, so we have an example for this. Let's have a quick look. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm able to launch this link. This is a pullback trade, looks like to the long side. And what we're doing here, we're using SI Raven. You see SI Raven with the Remex system. I'm just uh, having a quick look through the larger time frame. And without further ado, let's see how this trade works out. Again, I'm in long mode, so I have switched the system to long mode and uh, the decision has been made. If price doesn't do what I'm expecting it to do, then there's no problem, I just switch off the system without getting filled and without losing money. Let me fast forward a little bit, if I can see what happened here. Okay, so there's our limit order with an ATM2 strategy. Of course, two, four, six, or eight, or even 10 uh, is up to you. We're gonna get into the math in a few minutes. In, this, in these examples, usually an ATM2 that I'm using. It's a break-even strategy. The first target is relatively close. And as it, if it gets hit, then our stop is pulled up. The people who know the system, they know this inside out already. Stop is pulled up, then stop is pulled up above our entry. And from this point on, we're actually in a no-risk situation. Eventually, we'll get stopped out by our trading stop or our higher time frame target, the runner, will get hit. All right, so that was our pullback trade. I'd like to show you quickly a similar pullback trade using Blackbird. Blackbird, let me just, uh, okay. So this is Blackbird, uh, a very sophisticated tool, I'm sure you know, uh, made by Shark Indicators. Not that SI Raven is not useful. SI Raven is something we've been using for six, seven years, and we're happy with it. But obviously, uh, Blackbird is a whole different ball game, offering a multitude of possibilities that uh, SI Raven was not designed to do. So here we are using Blackbird pullback trade to the short side, and I'm already filled here. Uh, let's see, I'm actually, it looks like I'm using the auto mode this time. Nonetheless, the trade seems to be developing okay, and again, some manual tweaking of the stops. There's some sound on this, so I must be, probably I might be explaining something in the video. Uh, nevertheless, I just wanted to show you as an example, uh, an example for using the Remex system for either SI Raven, let's call it the traditional way, uh, which is time proven and works fine, or if you, uh, since it's 2017 and we have Blackbird, uh, we're happy to recommend uh, using Remec with Blackbird as well. Okay. And at this point, uh, let me turn my attention towards uh, the math and also to kind of uh, offer a path to you guys, uh, for those of you who'd like to try out the Remec system in conjunction with SI Raven or Blackbird. Uh, how we think is uh, the best way to do this, since there is a, there's a kind of a discretionary step which requires skills development. 
uh, we were thinking of, uh, of this process here and I have devised a very simple uh, trade uh, record keeping system. Uh, there's no real rocket science, anybody can do this, but if you'd like to use this, I'm um, you know, more than happy to share it with you. Uh, it just basically identifies our trade types and you start trading, you rec record your wins or losses into the appropriate field of the appropriate trade type and then these little summary tables will keep track of the expectancy and the result of each of the three uh, trades, basically. Now, you do 50 of these, you do 50 trades, preferably 50 of each, and then you can measure yourself. That's batch one. Then you do repeat the process. Let me go back to this. You analyze the results, then you repeat in batch two, and it should be similar or hopefully better than batch one. Now, if you can do three of these, and the three batches are pretty consistent, then, which is uh, you know easier said than done, but it's possible to do if you apply discipline, then you can start utilizing our CAP table, which is Capital Accumulation Plan, to use a fancy term, and this would provide you a six-month plan to build up capital. Now, this is a very conservative uh, tool. There's nothing really crazy about it. Safety comes first, so you can do this in simulation and only proceed to real money when you're ready using or having done at least three batches of consistent results. Now, having said that, in the yellow fields, you simply enter the data that you were, uh, that you achieved here. And then this table will calculate basically the recommended contract size, which you will gradually increase by keeping your risk very, very low. If you enter two here, it should be at or below 2%. 3% too high, let me reduce this to 3, okay, or even 2, there's no rush in this process, if it takes 6 months or 8 months, no real big difference, I'm not sure why this is jumping around, but anyway, I'd like to reduce this to 2 as well for some reason, okay, maybe now, maybe 3. Yeah, three is okay, it's close to 2%. You see, as long as it's around 2%, I think you're pretty safe. And now it's 194, that's good. Now, if you use this very conservative approach by increasing contract size, then you would end up with this equity curve, of course, in an ideal situation and using and applying completely perfect discipline, which in real life is not something that's really possible, but getting close is possible. So again, here is a little table that you're free to use. If you want to record your trade and do the three batches, then you can enter uh, the data into the yellow fields and devise a plan for six months. All right, uh, I hope you'll find this useful. If you'd like to have a link, uh, please write to me or maybe I'll just publish it later and put it on my blog as well for everybody to have access to. So let's move on. Yeah, 50 trades. I think we've talked about this already. 50 trades, uh, at least 50 trades three times, preferably in all categories. And then you analyze and plan your six months process. And last thing I want to highlight uh, uh, when we talk about numbers, of course you can get much more scientific about this, but in this short presentation I, I, I wanted to keep it simple and uh, concentrate on the positive expectancy. But before I do that, here's a very important uh, point. You know, risk of ruin must be at or close to zero. And uh, Look at these uh, numbers here. If you have a 
let's say the REMEX system has a 55, very conservative figure, 55% accuracy rate, all right? Let's say 60 or 50. That means theoretically you can still have 16 trades, 16 losers in a row. At 60%, you can have theoretically, but it's possible to happen, 12 losing trades in a row. Now, why am I saying this? Because I don't think it will happen, but it's possible it could happen. Now, you need a trading account that is able to survive this impact. Just like a skyscraper needs to survive strong wind, and that's calculated, this value, your account size, will need to survive the worst case scenario. So how do we do that? Well, in this chart that I showed you a minute ago, there is a recommended account size. That's automatically calculated for you based on this figure, these numbers that I just showed you. And one more thing is calculated, the largest expected drawdown. Now, even if you apply perfect discipline, just you know, because markets are random and there's a Monte Carlo simulation and various results, even if you do the same thing, the largest drawdown that you can, that you have to, you know, uh, accept to take in as a worst case scenario will be calculated here for you, and also the longest losing straight. This is not likely to happen, but the point is not if it happens or not. The point is that your account needs to survive it if it happens. All right. So what we do actually is we, we, we multiply this number by two and put a number here which is able to survive that. So please use these figures and uh, do your thinking when it comes to real money and your own account. It's something that nobody else can do for you. All right, so moving on. In summary, I'd like to highlight what we touched upon today very briefly. Uh, we do recommend our strategy design service if you'd like to have us build your custom system or if you have some great ideas. All our work is done in complete confidence and uh, confidentiality. Uh, so you're, yeah, so you're, um, you can be assured that nobody else uh, will have your ideas. Uh, it doesn't leave our door. Having said that, we're happy to be at your service worldwide. Second topic is low stress trading uh, that we talked about with the REMEX system, the four uh, components uh, that create a synergy and also the three setups, including the breakout that makes it four, uh, that we trade on a regular basis using our hypothesis model. And if you remember this example about the fishing net, then I think uh, you'll be able to uh, adopt that model pretty easily. All right, we trade three reliable, easy to distinguish setups that are based on proven market principles of momentum and reversion to the mean. And last but not least, the record keeping system and the math, which is designed to keep you on track, keep you disciplined, and that will allow you to monitor your own performance. And really last but not least, uh, since we're heading into the summer months and uh, uh, who knows when our next webinar might be, we wanted to really make this occasion special for you. and. Uh, offer you a deal for the next three days until Friday midnight EST. Uh, it's a pretty unique deal. Any combination of these tools in any of the bundles, and I'll show you in just one second what those combinations are. I think there are six different combinations. You can get 30% off and we'll throw in a 30% off on the Remex system standalone version as well if that's what you'd like to have, if you have everything else already. So, and if that were not enough, uh, so here's the site, here's the actual page that you can go to to take advantage of this special. And there's a little uh, code that you can enter, a promo code is called at checkout that will return the discount for you. So don't worry, when you put the product in the basket, the 30% will not show yet. You have to type in this code for the 30% discount to show up. So this is especially for web webinar for today's webinar uh, attendees. 
Now, since the learning curve is recognized, uh, I'd like to offer you all the purchasers of this uh, special uh, two times two hours on Mondays, two consecutive Mondays, where we'd be going through setting up the system, going through the setups, and really discussing uh, how to trade this in real life, uh, uh, you know, step by step, how to build hypotheses and how to take advantage of these three setups that keep reoccurring on our Renko charts. So all the purchasers, if you buy any of this, then you get four hours uh, in a group session on Monday and each of you guys will be welcome to join and we'll be answering your questions and going through the setups in detail. So I'm really looking forward to working with you on this. Uh, and let me show you the page itself. These different combinations are ready for you now. The three versions of Remec, one month of these, two licenses and one license for one computer or two computers, that is, and the six variations of the potential uh, packages using our bundles. That means bundles of the Remec system Bloodhound, Blackbird, and SI Pro Renko. And I recognize that many of you may have one or two of these products already, so we're going to accommodate each of you, and hopefully you will find the product uh, that is best for your needs. All right? And we also have Shark Indicators product uh, just by themselves, if that's what you would like. And a very rare but reoccurring situation where we have a single computer license for Remec and somebody realized that they wanted to also use it on a notebook or something else and they just need a second license. So that option is also here for you. So thank you very much. I hope you have found this short presentation useful. And with that, I'd like to thank you for attending and also open up the floor for questions and I hope I'll be able to answer some of them. So again, thank you, and please feel free to type in any questions. Great job, Baron. So we'll let some of these questions roll in and see if you can answer any of these. Thank you very much, Ty. Thank you. In the meantime, I think I just have to learn to make the question box visible. Probably there are already some questions. I just don't see them. I can go ahead and, and um, read the few that I see to you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, oh, yes, I can just drag it apart. Okay, I think I got them now. You got it? Okay. Okay, thank you. So let me see. First question. Thank you for that question. Uh, Frank, uh, what is being used to detect divergence? Good question. Let me show it to you right away. Uh, actually, I, we've got Ninja open here. So, right, this is our divergence indicator, and it comes with the package. We call it the Remec 3 pack. Uh, each purchaser of the system receives the Remec 3 pack, which is one, two, three three special indicators that we built for the Remex system uh, uh, especially, the proprietary in indicators. And here in this row, you'll see the divergences. And the other one is called the Remex RT, the Remex term. They are significant turns, mostly anyway. Remember, these indicators are never 100% accurate. There's no such thing. But they're mostly significant turns uh, on the market. Let me see if I can highlight some of them. Maybe like this. So this seems to be working. Also, this definitely worked well. All right, some of them didn't. Let me mark them by a circle. So there's no such thing as 100%, but usually when you use them in context, it gives you a pretty good indication of where the market might be going. So that's the divergence and the Remec turn. And the third one is the background. We always want to keep uh, to trade in the direction of the background if possible. The background is supposed to indicate the trend. 
Well, thank you very much, George. Wonderful presentation. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. And uh, I hope I can, uh, let me see. Yes, next question, Ali. Uh, can we buy the Remek system without Bloodhound? Yes, of course. Uh, let me show you the page if I can. Okay, so here's... Here's our store, and for the next three days, the same discount, 30%, is goes for the Remex system as well. And don't worry, you don't see the discounts because you guys, you're the only ones who know the code. So when you click on it, let me uh, present uh, or, or uh, demonstrate this for you. Purchase, and here is where you enter May 30 webinar special, one word, May 30 webinar special, and it will give me an error message because, oh, of course, the bracket. Very good. So it cannot be applied twice because it's already applied. But uh, rest assured, when you enter this code into the basket, you will be, the discount will be calculated for you automatically. What is Zoltan's last name? Zoltan's last name is the same as mine. He's my little brother, and uh, he is in Miami, Florida. He's been an ES trader for about 10 years, and he trades six figures. Very accomplished gentleman. He's on a different platform and different time frame, though. So he helps us as a special consultant. Right, next question, George. Uh, if 12.3 is your trend, higher time frame, what is the bar of the trading chart? Correct. Good question. It's 8.2. Let me show you. 12.3 is, this is the 6C we're looking at now. So 12, we're using 12.3 Renko for the higher time frame. And we're using 8.2 for the trading chart. And 3.1 for the precision chart. That's how I'm going to enter the trade. By the way, uh, I might as well, five o'clock. Well, I don't think there's much happening now, but I'm gonna show you how to put on the strategy anyway in just a second. Um, I was gonna mention something. The Remex system is designed in such a way that uh, you, can, you can trade various instruments with it and we recognize that the, uh, the, the volatility changes, you know, uh, first of all, instrument to instrument, but also in time. So the Remex system provides you flexibility, and I'll show you how. On the precision chart, you have an option of choosing 2-1, 3-1, or 4-1. The Remex system is designed such a way that it will work precisely and correctly with these three different settings. So uh, the reason I'm saying this, because we usually use 3-1 as a default, but if you do find that, you know, certain days or certain instruments, I don't know, the TF or the GC or whichever you're trading, uh, tends to be too jumpy and gives you too many of these inflection points and you don't want to see or use these inflection points or that many of them, then you simply step up one notch, one tick to 4-1 and you'll see a cleaner chart. You still get, you have to modify your stop values, of course, because you want your stop to be under the candle. Well, most people anyway, but it's up to you. Uh, so it's something to uh, consider, but you will definitely see fewer points. And 4-1 nicely rhymes with 8-2 and 12-3. You see? 4-1, 8-2, 12-3. It gives you a pretty good uh, proportional view of the same situation in the market. Have you ever used market replay to prove your strategies? Yes, we have. And uh, the reason I'm not uh, including our internal numbers because our traders are pretty accomplished. And if I tell you what Gabor's results are, it may be not relevant to somebody else. It, it, it will not be relevant to somebody else. Uh, the point of this uh, whole exercise in skills development would be to develop your own skills. Now, in general, I can say that the Remex setups usually provide a one-third, one-third, one-third 
proportion. So one third will be losers. One third will be break evens because we use a break even strategy. And then one third will be winners where you're able to take uh, the trade to your runner or close to your runner, depending on the situation. Because the Remex system, I haven't gone into that detail yet, but the Remex system has uh, built-in algorithms. I've said this so many times, I just forgot to say it today, but let me say it in one sentence. It has built-in algorithms to take profit for you if there's an extended run suddenly, faster than you could do it with the mouse, and also takes you out of a trade if that trade definitely goes against you. So on both ends, capital preservation and profit taking, it has built in uh, algorithms that I think work at 200 milliseconds. So it's pretty quick uh, to take the money for you or to protect your capital. But uh, this chart, this actually not the chart, but the, but the table, this table, the purpose of this table is to measure yourself. So if you can if you can achieve this one third one third one third, I think then you're a pro, and aim for that. And it's not, uh, well, I shouldn't say easy, but it's certainly not impossible. Maybe even not difficult to achieve with discipline. All right, next question, please. Does the system include the indicators shown? Yes, yes, uh, these indicators are part of the system, so the background, uh, the, which is what we call the Remec 3 pack, one, two, three, these are, the come with the package, they're proprietary, but uh, when you get the Remec license, you also get the license for these three indicators. Uh, good question. Um, sorry, I uh, forgot, I can't find the name now, but, uh, Oh, Ralph, yes, uh, that was Ralph. And another question from Frank. Uh, when NT8, Ninja Trader 8 comes out, will your, ready, will your software be ready at the same time? I can promise at the same time, but shortly after. So uh, when uh, Bloodhound and Blackbird for, for Ninja 8 will come out, there will be a, a, a testing cycle, and we'll try to be on the market as soon as possible, but we also have to test it properly. Next question, is SI Pro Renko an extra in addition to the Remex system? The SI Pro Renko is a product by Shark Indicators and it is also, when you go to our store, you can purchase it separately. That's a good point, uh, I, I don't see it here. There should be an SI Pro Renko only, uh, but, uh, but rest assured I'm gonna make up for this. I'm gonna put it here right away, right after the presentation in a couple of minutes, five, 10 minutes, for those people who want to buy the SI Pro Renko. But actually the SI Pro Renko in many of the packages it's included, you see SI Pro Renko, SI Pro Renko, SI Pro Renko. So you can purchase it uh, individually I forgot to put it here, but that's not a problem. I can do it in a couple of minutes. So, so the answer is yes. Yes, you can buy the SI Pro Renko uh, as well. And if you'd like the SI Pro Renko as part of the package, just check out these deals. And at least three of them, I can see the SI Pro Renko is included. SI Raven, SI Raven, Stephen, is part of Bloodhound. So you don't have to buy SI Raven uh, separately because it's part of Bloodhound. Let me show it to you. Uh, actually, I can use the strategies. And uh, in this case, oh, I might be a little slow, give me a second. All right, looks like Ninja is making me wait. Okay, here we go. So SI Raven is part of Bloodhound. When you have Bloodhound, you also have SI Raven, and you can use uh, the Remac system to generate the signals for you, which then you will then uh, use. Let me see. 
Okay, like this, right? So this is the Remix system, and you can set up various, you know, uh, details. This is a Ninja Trader dialog box, so you have to. Uh, I'm sure you understand all these little details, and when you click OK, you put the Remex system on the chart using SI Raven. There's a similar process using Blackbird. So when you use the Remex system, you have a choice of using SI Raven, which you already have if you have Bloodhound, or if you want to get real fancy and sophisticated and really, really uh, implement sophisticated uh, trade management ideas, then I think what you need is Blackbird. That's what Blackbird was designed to do. In either case, both engines will be fueled by the Remex system's signals. Okay, so let me see. There's lots of questions I'm trying to catch up, guys. Maybe I should uh, keep my answers shorter. Oh, oh, Frank. Uh, Right, the additional cost for NT8, uh, I'm not able to tell you that yet, but I'm pretty sure, and I can say this, that current users of, of the Remex system will have a negligible cost when it comes to upgrading to NT8. So ne by negligible, I mean um, just a ballpark figure. So if you, if you purchase the Remex system now, then the... Ninja Trader 8 version of the Remex system should cost you maybe uh, under $100 anyway. $49, $59. I can't think of anything higher. Uh, for those of you who uh, are starting out with the Ninja 8 version, uh, will not have that luxury. They will have to uh, pay uh, the full price. But we do appreciate current business and whoever buys the current version of Remex, I know we're in a transitional period between Ninja 7 and Ninja 8, and for a year or two we'll have a parallel systems. A lot of users will be staying on Ninja 7, and we'll be supporting both of them, both Ninja 8 and Ninja 7, and we want to make sure that those customers that have been with us for Ninja 7, they have an easy transition and a low-cost transition to Ninja 8. Oh, hi, Grace. Uh, you'd like to subscribe to our trade calls and auto trade. We don't, we don't uh, provide that service, not at this time, um, in any case. If that ever happens, you'll find out in the blog. And please note, our blog is pretty active, and uh, a couple of times a week, we do have some posts. And if you mark this remec.ca blog, then uh, that's the best way to get notified of anything new that we may be launching. I'm not saying it will not happen. It's something we're thinking about, but it's not. Uh, we don't provide that service at this time. Yes, uh, uh, Triu, if I pronounce it correctly, uh, you're welcome to uh, try it out. Yes, please uh, uh, do take advantage of the trial. Even in the next three days, you, you may have enough time to download the trial. You only have to fill out this form and you'll get the link to the download automatically. Uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, write to me if you have any questions and if you like it, you'll still have some time to take advantage of the special which ends on Friday at midnight EST, so Eastern Time. So this is the page uh, where you actually uh, subscribe to the trial. Heron, good question. Uh, better Ranko candles. Uh, unfortunately, we only we only support three types of uh, Ranko bars. Uh, basically, for practical reasons, it, it, it's just you know we, we don't have the resources to support uh, like ten different bars, and uh, the benefits of it would be uh, questionable in any case. So we provide support for SI Pro Ranko. Then we provide support for SIBT Renko, another excellent product by Shark Indicators. And the third one is Unirenko, which is free of charge. And all three bar types, actually Unirenko comes packaged with the product. SIBT Renko you will have to buy from the makers of that product, uh, Shark Indicators. Okay, uh, lots of questions. I'm very happy to answer these questions. 
uh, Grace has just, oh, Bennett has just purchased uh, package three. It's one zip file titled Remac Trading. Yes, that's correct. Uh, the Remac Trading system will come as a zip file and you will get uh, an email with the license information for the uh, Shark Indicator products. So the way it works, in each bundle, there is a product by Remec Trading Systems, and there may be, and there are, products by Shark Indicators. The Remec, you can download. The Shark Indicator product, you will receive an email from them with the download and the licensing instructions within 24 hours. So either package you buy, within 24 hours you have all the information to both, to all the products that are included in the package. Uh, Grace, uh, if we can help you set up the system through TeamViewer, yes, we certainly can. Yes, please write to me an email. We'll set up a time, and I'll be more than happy to answer uh, the questions and set up the system on your screen, on your machine, and teach how to use the system. Yes, actually, uh, as I mentioned, we have a special, not much of a special, but it's something that, uh, where's my presentation? Here we go. The last page, uh, all the purchasers of this special will get four hours altogether on two consecutive, a $200 value and 198 US dollar value, two consecutive Mondays at 2 p.m. EST. And you're more than welcome to join that session and we'll answer your questions and set up the system and go through all the details of how to trade the setups with both SI Raven and also with Blackbird. Any other questions, please? All right. Uh, as, as a last point, Ty, if we have a minute or two uh, left, since I put on uh, the Remax system using SI Raven, I'd like to quickly demonstrate how to do the same thing with, oh, give me a second. Demonstrate how to do the same thing with Bloodhound. Not Bloodhound, sorry, Blackbird. Give me one second. So on this chart, uh, you can see the Remax system as used with SI Raven, which is a built-in component of Bloodhound. And uh, right now I'm going to double click on Blackbird. Hopefully Ninja will not make me wait too long. And what Blackbird does is that Blackbird, think of it like a, like a container. Um, it will use the Remex signals as an input, and I can, let me just see if I can, okay, so here we go. Here's the interface of this uh, fantastic tool. So I'm gonna be using the Remex system as an input. Here we go. I'm not gonna go into the details, but just to give you the, uh, like a high level overview quickly. I'm using the Remex system as an input in Blackbird. And in this sophisticated environment, I can set up trade management rules, what I want the system to do after I enter the trade with the Remex system, with the Remex signal. So the Remex system, the Remex signal comes, I enter the trade, and what happens after, there's, there's believe me, there's like a thousand different, very sophisticated and smart ways that you can build your own trade management rules and we'll be happy to help you with this uh, during the four hour session, uh, e even on an individual basis. There's a lot of smart things that you can do here. And basically when you're done, you save it and you activate the system. And from that point on, you still discretion or can decide which signal you will want to use. But when you have entered the trade, Blackbird will take care of as much as you want it to take care of. Amazing product. 
So thank you very much. Uh, oh, there are two more questions, and then let me uh, give it back to Ty. Blackbird and Bloodhound templates. I see. Well, the Remax system itself is a Bloodhound template. Uh, so when you make a purchase, the Remax system and the three indicators, the three pack comes with, with the system JSON. They're proprietary. Uh, the Blackbird, the Blackbird file is uh, more individual at this point. So what we can do, if you purchase the system, I'll be happy to spend an hour with you. And if you have Blackbird, and if you do want to use Blackbird, I'll be happy to discuss with you your own rules and build those rules for you uh, in Blackbird. How does that sound? And that goes for each customer, actually. Because I, rec I recognize that Blackbird definitely has a lear learning curve. And to make that learning curve you know, quicker and a little bit flatter, uh, I'll, I'll be happy to lend a hand and implement your own trading rules and also give you advice if you ask me to. Uh, Frank is asking the, the, the four hour, two times two hour training. Uh, yeah, we can be flexible on the date. I'm usually here on Mondays serving customers uh, in the afternoon. So uh, I was thinking of doing the first one next week because the sale ends on Friday anyway. So next Monday kind of makes sense. And then the Monday after. If those two dates are not good for you, then please let me know. And, uh, and we'll figure out something that maybe we'll add on a third Monday uh, for those people who cannot attend. I want everybody to attend at least two times. So thanks for clarifying that, Frank. All right, with that, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for the questions and the wonderful time. I hope you found it uh, useful. And uh, please feel encouraged to take advantage of this special. Um, I'll be traveling to Europe to do the course at the university, so probably there will not be another special for a while. And it's always a pleasure to be invited by Shark Indicators. I'd like to again thank you all for the attendance and uh, lots of questions and interest, and I'd like to pass it back to Ty now. All right, Ference. Phenomenal presentation. Uh, thank, thank you, you again much. for, no problem. Thank you for uh, presenting to the Shark audience. I learn something new every time you come in and present. I imagine they do as well. Um, just so you guys know, uh, the, the link is on the screen right here. Uh, so remic.ca slash products. Again, the offer is good until Friday at midnight. And the promo is uh, May 30 webinar special. So thank you guys for uh, stopping in, and we'll, uh, we'll see you next week. And I'll just leave the screen up for a few minutes for anyone who uh, feels like going there. You guys take it easy. Thanks very much again. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks again, Ferentz.